Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ga uh, Monarch Gaming back again with another video. It's been a while since my last video. I got a new mic, so I uh, hope you like this. We're doing a throwback Thursday, doing some ESPN NFL 2K5. Uh, this is one of my favorite games um, that I used to play. So, we're going to choose my favorite team right now. Um, in this game, I really like playing with the Eagles. You got a great defense. You got Terrell Owens, uh, Donovan McNabb on your team. But I also like playing with the Vikings. If you got a terrible defense, you got Jared Allen on your defense. I'm along with some other people. But you got Randy Moss, Dante Culpepper, um, Marcus Robinson, just some good people, so I'm just going to choose the Vikings. And I'm going to do a franchise. We're going to start off with the franchise. No first person. No. No. I don't like doing their signings. And all that stuff. So, we're going to get started. We're just going to choose the Vikings. And that's going to be our only team. But we're going to go throughout the Vikings season with you guys and uh, kind of see what happens. It's been a long, long time since I played this game, um, so we're just gonna see see what happens. Uh, this might be bad. I might have to look at the controls first, um, but we'll just see. Um, this, again, this was like one of my favorite games to play. So, I remember you have to like speed tap X in order for to sprint. Um, and that's really all I remember. Um, just to let you guys know that if you want to see any games played or any old games for the PlayStation 2, uh, be played just let me know and I'm sure I can find the game I have a lot of games here we're gonna receive start off on offense and this uh, audio might be uh, a little delayed but we'll see how bad it is once we get a few videos started and if it's really bad we'll uh, try to see what we can do for you. Okay. Got out to the 21. Gonna run high pro. So you got Dante Culpepper. So you also got Michael Bennett, Randy Moss. Oh, second and 12. Here's my favorite play. We're going to find it real quick. That was too easy right there. Too easy. Marcus Robinson. I don't wanna I don't wanna win that easy. <laughs> well this is really similar to Madden 15. I see why a lot of people are like comparing it to Madden 15. Except for 
you know, tapping X, it's a little different. But I would say the running and uh, some of the passing is similar, but not a whole lot. We got Nate Burleson too. That's just unfair. It's just unfair. We're just gonna throw to him. <laughs> we're just gonna we're testing out the playbook on this first drive. See what we can do with it. No gain on that play. Get empty. And go back to doubles. Run another, another toss play. Let's see, ah, I should cut that inside. But look how beautiful this play is, for real. You got L1 wide open in the corner. You got Randy Moss right in the middle there. You got Nate Burleson on the curl. Uh, it's just too good. Didn't complete that one. Nobody was open. <laughs> We're running again now. Ooh. I don't know how that guy got over there and tipped that. We're going to have to rely on our defense. And this was a really innovative thing. You got to pick your line, and then you pick your coverage. So you can pick if you're going to do like a twist route or on your coverage. Or whatever you wanted to do. Good coverage there. So I'm a 3 4 fan. And we got. We're on this play. A little bit of a blitz. Good D. That's some good D right there. Let's go. So I might just pause this right here and I'll show you guys uh, the last quarter of play and uh, you can see what happens then. Alright guys, that's the half. Let's see. Halftime score is 7 to 0. We're at the Chris Berman halftime show. Halftime score is 7 to 0. Um, I threw a 50 yard touchdown pass, and uh, that's about it. That's pretty much the only thing that happened. So. Alright everybody, this is the fourth quarter here, and it's fourth down, fourth and eight. This is a big play. So we're going to run, yeah we're going to do the two soft, looks like they're all near the uh, first down line, so that might be good for me. Oh, dang they completed it. All right, let's go. We got this. We still got this. 
I wasn't too worried until he made like a 40 yard pass. <laughs> and now. It's starting to get a little worried. I don't know why they just ran that. I'm gonna call a timeout. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> this is bad. And two man under right now. 42 seconds left. Pick that. Oh my. That was bad. Yeah, that was bad. I'm going to a dime. We're on a gap left cover line. And we're going to run a four cloud. A lot of coverage right there. We got this. 36 seconds left. No! There's a flag. A pass interference. Oh my goodness. This is not good at all. Thirty-two seconds. Oh, that guy was wide open. Over the middle. He was wide open. That would have been tied up right there. Oh my gosh. How'd they get that in there? Good throw. Good catch. Nice. Oh, I thought they were going for it. Alright, we got 25 seconds left. Try to get the score. This is going to be big. Big possession. Right here. It's final possession. Let's see if we can get this. Kneel it. He blew three seconds. Oh my goodness. I should have called for a fair catch. I didn't know it would take him three seconds to kneel that. Crap. Marcus Robinson has five catches for 141 yards. So that's who I'm going to look to. That's some pass interference. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> 75 yard touch. 10 seconds left. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a throw. What a throw. 80 yards. He says, get off me. <laughs> oh man. And there's 10 seconds left on the clock. Six passes for 221 yards. That's insane. Those are video game numbers right there. So we got 10 sec. Oh, don't kick it out of bounds. Good catch. <laughs> he rolls out of bounds at the 9. Dime. Uh, 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 wall cloud that worked last time. Actually, it didn't. It didn't work last time. Actually, yeah, not run that play again. Just trying to call an audible, and they ran it. Ran the play. I'm just gonna go too hard. Six seconds left. And the boot. Oh, come on. This game is so hard to control defensively. I can't get the hang of it.
that's the game. Alright. Going on to the crib tally. Nice. Some fancy points. Oh, I was going to show the stats. That's right, we're going to go to the Chris Berman show at the very end. I always love watching this on the franchise mode. So we're going to turn the volume up a little bit. I'm Chris Berman. Got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Panthers come away with a seven-point win. Michael Vick passed for 150 yards plus and helped his Falcons beat the 49ers. Christian Euphorie stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris. Let's switch gears and talk about players that'll have new homes in the National Football League. As free agency continues to play such a huge role in determining a team's makeup. Antonio Freeman will be on the move. You see it there. He'll be getting a nice little payday, too. Four years, $3.2 million. Leonard Myers is on the move as well as he signs a three-year contract with the Dolphins. Antoine Smith is on the move. Perhaps not for all that he thought he'd get, but a good deal nonetheless. Four years, $3.4 million, plus a $1.0 million signing bonus. Dave Fiore will also have a new address for a while as he signs a four-year contract with the Packers. In the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, we had the Eagles get nipped by three points. Up in the HHH Metrodome, we had the Vikings come away with a seven-point win. Chiefs, Broncos. Priest Holmes would certainly like to help his team get into the end zone. And he's just set seven yards behind the line of scrimmage now. Looks to bounce outside, does so, gets a block, touchdown, 10 yards. The Chiefs go on to win this by the final score of 27 to 17. The Redskins' defense pummeled their way to five sacks in their win at Raljan, Maryland. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. 
In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Troy Brown is probably the one that most leaps out at you. It's a broken arm, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for 11 weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Ike Hilliard sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. A dislocated elbow is the problem, keeping him out for seven weeks. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Lavernius Coles is going to be watching from the sidelines for a while, as his injury will deal a major blow to this team. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. The Rams want it home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Falcons. Plexico Burris pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Steelers beat the Raiders. Chad Johnson had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. In upstate New York, Buffalo, we had the Bills get edged out by two points. Up in Chicago, we had the Bears stroll away with a 14-point win. The Browns' defense held their opponents to under 150 passing yards in their win at the Cleveland Browns Stadium. The Texans won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Lions. Steve Air McNair threw for over 200 yards and helped his Titans beat the Dolphins. And last but not least, we had the Seahawks come away victorious. So, as usual, plenty of surprises around the NFL. And heck, I mean, we just got into week one. Of the week, My primetime players' game balls yeah, go out to these gentlemen, each one with a fine start to the season. Yards That'll do Robinson. it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN.